Cheers, and welcome back to Chicago Reacts. I am your bartender, Lauren. If you've never been here before, welcome for the first time. We're very glad to have you here. Now, people have been asking for more Warhammer, uh, and specifically Warhammer Darktide. So today I'm going to be reacting to several trailers from Warhammer Darktide. It is still not within the realm of possibility. I will potentially still play this game. Uh, I'm waiting on a couple of more people to ask me to play it, essentially, is what I'm waiting for. I said 45 different people have to ask, so I'm still waiting on a couple more people to do that. But eh, I might decide to just play it on my own for a little bit so I don't fully embarrass myself when it actually happens. But I'm interested. I've enjoyed these Warhammer games uh, so far. I've enjoyed all of the lore um, people have been telling me about. So I am very excited to see about this Dark Tide game because apparently... It will be a lot of fun. So I am excited to get going on that. Let's take a drink. Now, those of you who've been here before know that one of the games that we play with Warhammer specifically is if I say something is cool, we all have to take a drink. So if I say something's cool, we're definitely drinking. Um, that is just how we play. Let us begin. Is that a nebula? It is the 41st millennium. For 10,000 years, the Imperium has dominated the galaxy. There is only war. Excellent. Every human soul, from the most highborn lord to the most basic servitor, is dedicated to the service of the God Emperor of Mankind. I think we all know that's not true, right? I'm not the only chaos person, I don't think. The Imperium's battle fleets and armies, from the conscripted soldiers of the Astra Militarum to the elite space marines of the Adeptus Astartes, Keep humanity safe from alien threats and cosmic horrors beyond imagining. But there is another war. It is the one in which I serve. Ooh. If it was a movie, she'd be played by Glenn Close or possibly Jame du Dame Judi Dench. I've already in my brain. Ooh. Our war is not one of battlefields and fleet engagements. It is waged by the dedicated agents of the Imperial Inquisition. It is fought in the cities and- That's pretty. It looks kind of like Gallifrey. I don't know if, <laughs> if there's any Whovians out there, but in the new series, they show Gallifrey a couple of times. It kind of looks like this from, from up top. Hives of the Imperium. In the back streets and the forgotten sublevels. In hive cities like Tershan. We're not surrounded! Don't get overrun! <laughs> For if the Inquisition fails, Oh. The Imperium falls. Oh my god, holy shit! <laughs> Wonderful. All right. Camera only. All right, wow. All right. Well, that looks like fun. All right, okay, y'all. Fine. That looks like fun. 
for sure. And it's not like I don't have the game sitting on my like computer. I, I it's the first thing that like pops up whenever I turn it on. So, ah, uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's gonna have to happen regardless of whether or not you want me to play it on Twitch. I will still do that if I get enough people, but uh, mm, that looks like something that's gonna have to happen for me. <laughs> That was excellent. And see, I'm not saying it's cool yet because I still have two more trailers to go through in this particular video. So we're trying to like pace it. We're just gonna pace it just a bit. All right, so now we've got the second one. We got another Dark Tide cinematic trailer. Ah, uh, I wonder, like, okay, I always wonder with these trailers, it's like, are we gonna see more gameplay? I love that there's like a lot of little lore bits in there. I love that um, we actually got to see someone going through the warp. I've never seen what it looks like and it looks traumatizing. It looks kind of awful, actually. So, but I'm glad I got to see it. Like, it's, oh, uh, it's, sorry. Sorry, microphone. Uh, it's, it's enjoyable. This is why I like the Warhammer stuff. It's like every time I'm not watching it actively, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's fine. And then I watch it. And then the entire time I'm watching, I'm so invested. Ah. What a universe. All right, let's go. We're going to watch the second one. This is also a shorter one. The third one is a little longer. The city of Tertium is under attack. My city. A dark tide of chaos is rising. Ah. Also, drink whenever they say the name of the game in the trailer, I think. Because that is a game I play with every movie I ever watch. So, if they say the name, you have to take a drink. I'll just go back just a bit. Also, this green mist stuff reminds me of the um, bit in Anastasia where, like, the Rasputin minion spirits are attacking the train. Probably just because, you know, it's a train and it's green. Fighters are falling. Ooh. Ooh. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Zombies? Zombies? Hi. <laughs> Does this green mist turn you into a zombie? Falling. <laughs> Something different. Something desperate. We take you. The outcast and the criminal. The lost and the damned. Because you have nothing left to lose. we're counting on now. And if it's come to this, then God Emperor help us all. Okay, cool, cool. So we've got a giant, I don't know, is he like a half orc? He's not green, but he's kind of orky looking. Uh, we got one psyker. And I don't, know what the deal is with the other two one's got a hammer one's got a gun excellent are these the playable characters or are they just character characters are they like the pov characters um all right i will find out i'll find out because i'm gonna play it but either way also i love the whole game of thrones thing that they've got going on in the background feels stolen a little bit but i guess you know it's not copyrighted material to have a bunch of blades sticking out in a in a line because otherwise knives out would have gotten slammed too and it is a okay fine it is a really cool look it's a cool aesthetic all right okay okay so i guess yeah i i just wonder if for all of the warhammer games like are if you're 
playing as a psyker or like as a marine or whatever like can, can you adjust those kinds of things i know a lot of people have told me so far that in a bunch of the games you know you you play as a faction like whatever faction you're playing as and that's what you do it just it feels like so much of this is so all the gameplay i've seen all of the gameplay i have seen has been really really focused on you know you're a marine with your tools fighting tyranids or something so i guess i'm just wondering has anyone played you know as like what is it like to play as a psyker and if there's a video out there that like shows what it's like to play as a psyker link that to me i would love to know like please let me know in the comments if there's like i want to see gameplay of people playing as different factions as different you know species even like i want to see what that looks like uh so give me some gameplay vids to watch on that i'm gonna go back just a bit also i love that she's like well if it's the scum like you we have to think about it like whatever all of that nonsense that was great it's like great yeah i'm super invested in fighting for you because you're calling me scum no i don't think so I feel like every single video I do just like pulls me deeper into chaos and Kit is gonna kill me. <laughs> Tagline. Rejects will rise. You're a reject. <laughs> we reject you, but it's very Rudolph since we're in the Christmas season right now. I don't know if you are when you're watching this, but I'm in the Christmas season right now dealing with that in the best way that I know how. Anyway, rejects will rise. So, okay, so seems like the story of this particular game is that there are monsters for some reason the only people they can send against them are the people who they hate a lot the criminals and i guess heretics um i guess i would have again again i'll have to play the game to find out why unless you just want to tell me because i would be fine with that just i don't care about spoilers for this all right, so now we're going to watch the third one. This is the last trailer I've got right now. Once again, though, if you uh, have other, like, I really, I mean that, though. Like, if you link me some gameplay things in the in the comments, I might not necessarily react to them on this channel, but I want to watch them. I want to see what it's like. So if you want me to react to them, I will. But all right, let's go with the last, the last trailer. This one is a little bit longer. So hopefully I'll get some more information. I really need to stop asking so many questions until I've seen everything, because usually they get answered. Dark Tide is a first-person co-op oh. shooter set in the grimdark universe of Warhammer 40,000. Invaded by the traitorous soldiers of the Mobian Sixth, the sp Yep, see? See? I have, um, I, the second I ask the question, who am I fighting against, I watch the next thing and they tell me. Every time. Invaded by the traitorous soldiers of the Mobian Sixth, the sprawling hive city of Tertium stands on the brink of destruction. The only thing standing between these chaos-worshipping heretics and victory is the mysterious Inquisitor Grendel and his warband of conscripted convicts. Isn't Grendel from Beowulf? I'm like 97% certain that Grendel is like one, one of the first things Beowulf fights, isn't it? Like Grendel, but I think she's a witch in that. Classic uh, English history buff nerds, tell me if I'm right about that. I never actually read Beowulf, but I'm pretty sure Grendel is in that. Mysterious Inquisitor Grendel and his warband of conscripted convicts. Okay, so it's a Suicide Squad thing too. Okay. You are one such reject. Yeah. Freed to serve the Emperor's light in this darkest of hours. You can expect no help. No reinforcements. 
You are Tertium's last line of defense. Nice. Oh, is it because we're um expendable? Also, though, speaking of Suicide Squad, look, look, this is my this is my Harley Quinn jumper. It says her name all over it. I don't know, you can't see that from there, but hey. <laughs> This is like the perfect the perfect shirt to be wearing if we're talking about a Suicide Squad esque band of uh, mercenaries going who are being sent into an unwinnable situation. Good job, me. Your first task is to select your class. Ooh, okay. Four to choose from, the choice you make will determine your playstyle. Veterans are seasoned soldiers of the Astra Militarum, the famed Imperial Guard, and focus primarily on ranged weapons like okay. las guns to secure the kill. Fueled by Holy Wrath, zealots prefer to charge headlong into the fray. They are holy warriors who stop at nothing to purge heresy in the Emperor's name. So why are they... Why are they in jail then? I thought that that was, would be looked, looked upon as a good thing. Psychers draw on the unfathomable powers of the war. He's so cocky. Powers, theirs comes with a price. Use their abilities too often, and they may meet an untimely end. What the muscle-bound and simple-minded Ogrins lack in tactical understanding, they more than make up for with prodigious strength and fortitude. Once you've made your choice, it's time to bring your reject to life by choosing their appearance, personality, and backstory. Ah! Body type, facial features, hairstyles, and tattoos are all... Oh, customized. no! Every character type... Oh! Oh no, that is so terrible. Oh no. Ooh, I'm gonna monster factory Harley Quinn. That's what I'm gonna <laughs> do. Oh, yes, please. Also has three unique voice profiles, each with an extensive range of lines that will showcase your reject's personality as you play. Does this place go fill your heart with holy fervor? She's from Jersey. <laughs> Your reject's contribution to the battle for Tertium begins at the mission terminal. Here, you'll choose from an endless stream of missions, some more urgent and perilous than others, each playing a key role in Tertium survival. Missions require strike teams of four operatives. If you're not in a strike team, you'll automatically be matched with others from Grendel's warband when you embark on a mission. Okay. A mission's difficulty can vary, so choose wisely from the available options. Dead heroes serve no one. Every mission has a primary objective, which can be anything from retrieving vital supplies to assassinating an arch heretic. Inquisitor Grendel's trusted servants will update your strike team's progress and goals as you fight your way through the map, offering guidance, new objectives, and occasional praise as the situation merits. Good work. Succeed or fail, the end of round will summarize your performance and tally any rewards. To survive in Tertium, players will need to master both melee and ranged combat, switching seamlessly between the two as the need arises. Every encounter pits you against a variety of enemies, each with their own fighting style. It'll be up to you to determine how best to vanquish them using the weapons at your disposal. When engaging hand-to-hand, -hand, you'll use blocking and shoving to keep your enemies off balance. Uh -oh. Finish them off with brutal close combat weapons, such as the faux shredding chainsword or the punishing thunder hammer. The faux shredding chainsaw? Does it fake shred? What? Oh, faux, faux, faux. No, okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. I'm sorry. That was really dumb. Also, if you're new here, we drink whenever I say something really dumb. Faux. F-O-E as in enemy, not faux, F-A-U-X as in fake. I'm a moron. It's fine. Combat weapons such as the faux shredding chainsaw or the punishing thunder hammer. 
See, that one makes more sense. <laughs> ...requires that you take full advantage of available cover as you return fire with las guns, grenades, and psychic bolts. As the enemy closes, you'll employ strafing and dodging, staying one step ahead of the hordes to make sure you're not overwhelmed. Will I, though? Will I? Me? I doubt it. I really kind of doubt it. <laughs> Yeah, apologies um, if I do this multiplayer mode and I'm on your team. My bad for every time I die and get you killed. No reject can survive alone. Teamwork is everything in Dark Tide. Work with your strike team or die alone. Your innate toughness, your determination to press on through the pain, recharges when you're near your strike team. Oh! If that's not enough to encourage you to stay close to your friends, wandering off risks being punished by foes looking to immobilize or capture stray rejects, such as the slavering Chaos Hound or the Mobian Trapper. Papi! Once you fall prey to such enemies, only your teammates can save you. We had not you there. Gaining Inquisitor deaths. Grendel's favor is no easy task, but a necessary one if you're to survive. Serve diligently, and you will learn new secrets, earn greater responsibilities, and perhaps even become a trusted member of the Warband. As you progress through the game and level up your character, you'll choose feats to further customize your unique playstyle. You'll also earn the trust of the Warband's tech priest and access to her shrine of the Omnissiah. Mm. You will customize your weapons using materials collected during your missions. You can upgrade the weapon's rarity or refine its blessings and perks to create the perfect tool for vanquishing heretics. A reject lives or dies by their war gear. Better it's the best it can be. The battle for Tertium is only just beginning. In the coming weeks and months, Dark Tide's story will expand with seasonal content. Ooh. New objectives, new maps, new dangers, and new challenges to keep you and the rest of Grendel's warband on your toes. I want to fight an evil Santa Claus. That's what I want from this. I want them to give me like an evil orc Santa Claus or something. Or, or just like, you know, a giant, giant, big, muscly fat guy with like a beard and like a i don't know a really big like a what's it bando or something what is that thing called like uh ba bandolier where there's like stuff inside of of like a, a sack or a sock or something and you can wing it around and s just smack people with it that's what i want from the christmas update evil santa claus Tertium needs you. We're just going back. And the rest of Grendel's warband on your toes. Tertium needs you. The Emperor calls you. Eh. Grendel offers you purpose. It's time for the rejects to rise. Okay. <laughs> All right, they keep calling me a reject. I don't love that. But um, now that I know there is like a whole character, oh my gosh. All right, well, that sounds like a lot, <laughs> a lot of fun. Oh my God. <laughs> that sounds awesome. And I am going to, I'm going to be the worst because I'm terrible at games. Um, But that looks like a lot of fun. I want to see if I can't practice on my own before I join like a co-op league, but I will at some point join a kind of co-op league, I think, just because once I, once I don't think I'm going to fully embarrass myself because, and that'll take me some practice. No, nothing is happening until after the new year. I'm just telling you all that right now. It's before Christmas right now. I have no time in the next like two weeks. I've got no time to do anything. So I will not be playing games. I will be doing a lot of other things. Um, but yes, that sounds like a lot of fun, and I love it, and I'm in, 
And I, like I said, I'm going to make a, a real fucked up Harley Quinn. And then whenever the guy tells me, no, thanks, Mr. J. I'm just, I'm going to, I'm warning you that right now. I'm going to Harley Quinn it up. Cause it just, it feels like a suicide squad. That's what this feels like. It feels like you're, I still don't know why you're agreeing to fight unless you just like to fight. Like, it's like these people have, I mean, and you get to be not locked up anymore, I guess. That might be it. You just don't want to be locked up anymore. So you're going to fight for them, even though they keep calling you names. It's like, mm, you're not, that's not a huge incentive. Uh, you suck so bad, but you're super expendable. So we're going to send you off into this place that we don't want to be, even though we could definitely do something because we're like super, it's fine. Um, <laughs> I, I, I know that that's not what you're supposed to read into it. I'm mostly kidding. <laughs> I don't know. My brain goes to like, what are the thoughts and feelings of the characters? And it's like it, they want to fight people. That's the thoughts and feelings is like that they're interested in just damage. <laughs> uh, so anyway, that's going to be a thing that I definitely do because it seems very fun. Very interesting. I'm super invested and I want to create a character so bad. So that's what's going to happen. I will be playing that game, at least on my own, potentially with other people. If you want to watch me play on Twitch, you have to let me know in the comments. I've got to I've got to see the want, y'all. I got to see the desire for it. I got a lot of stuff to do. But if people want it, I will do it. I will give you what you want. I will give it to you. Uh, so thank you again for watching. Um, make sure that you like, comment, share, subscribe. If you can become a member of our Patreon, we would super appreciate that as well. Uh, you get to have some extra say in what it is that we react to. Um, you can uh, participate in polls. You get certain content early, certain content unedited. We have a lot of TV shows and such that we're reacting to right now. If you're a member of our Patreon, you can see the whole reaction instead of our super cut up ones that we have to do because of, you know, copyright and stuff. So thanks again for watching. Once again, cheers. I hope that you enjoyed today. We only had a couple of drinks in this one, but that's probably for the best, honestly. Like I said, this is just whiskey. So see you all in the next one. Cheers. Mm -hmm.